Hey everybody, Stan Barankowitz here. I'm out here at Menifee this morning and I'm gonna go fly with the balloons as they come up uh, over Temecula. So I'm out here, here at our launch site and we're gonna get ready to get going. Temecula is off in that direction. As you can see, the sun is starting to rise. It's no wind. You can see no wind on the windsock. Got the motor set up. So here we go. I gotta tell you, these 5 a.m. sunrises are pretty tough, especially where I live. I have to drive an hour and a half to get here, so I have to get up pretty early to get here to do sunrise. Up late last night, and so I'm running on, on a few less cylinders. But anyway, we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna have a good time, and we're gonna tear it up as we always do. I'm up. There's the balloons. All right. Onward and upward. Okay, full trimmers out. So for a good portion of this flight, we were talking on comms and unfortunately when I talk on comms, the Cena doesn't work and it just goes silent and so I don't get any recording of my voice. So you have the pleasure of listening to me talk about my flight in post-production. So here we're going over Lake Skinner and heading over to where the balloon launching place is and you can see the group of balloons there and now we're heading over to where the balloons that have already taken off and to fly in between them and over them and under them and do a few little wing overs and things like that. Give a little shout out to the balloonists. They're very accommodating for us and it was a real pleasure to fly amongst all of these fantastic looking balloons. With all these balloons, it just makes for a really interesting landscape and to share aviation with other types of, of aircraft in this way is just really a fun thing and great. And as you can see, there's a couple other paramotor guys flying around there and we're just uh, trying to keep our distance and make everything fun for everyone involved, get some great video and share the love. Here I'm trying to do a little few wing overs here, little baby ones, just to mix it up a little bit. And when you're flying around balloons like this or other aircraft you want to really be cognizant of where everyone's at so you got to really have your head on a swivel so you don't get too close or cause any type of a mid-air collusion. As you can see there's lots of balloons in the air. I'm amazed that so many balloons stay really low. I thought they would like to go higher, but evidently they like a mix of altitudes. Here I'm flying with another paramotor guy. I don't know who this is, but figured to follow him because that would be a great shot to get him framed in with the balloons. circling back towards Lake Skinner to see if we can get a little closer to these balloons because the balloons were drifting further south and it already took me about 20 minutes to get there from the launch site so I didn't want to go too far down wind and then have to fight a headwind all the way back. So I came back over to the launch area, checked out a few more balloons. You can see like the Stay Puff Marshmallow guy. I know that's not him but it certainly looks like it. And then there's that odd-shaped blue balloon 
Looks like a Christmas ornament. Off to the right, you can see that gyrocopter that just passed me, zooming by. That startled me. And then I had my fill of balloons and head back to the LZ. Just a beautiful day. And then be able to fly along the California aqueduct here is really cool. Tried to get low, but... Ah, it's a little bumpy. All right. There's sod farms up ahead. Winds coming that direction off of Diamond Valley Lake. The lake back there for the balloons, that was Lake Skinner. Oh yeah, let's check out the dust. Actually, the dust is going that way. Getting ready to grow some more sod. Yeah, it's kind of a north wind. And here I decided to do a little bit of descent here to get down by and see if I could do some foot dragging in the sod fields and some of the other agricultural fields but that didn't work out so well because I was getting rotor off of that mountain there you see in the foreground so I climbed back up. Right, there's one down. And then even over here when I'm getting close to the LZ there's pretty rough along the rocks. North of the LZ some ponds and some other guys were cruising in and now coming in for a final landing. And down. I'll take it, although I should have landed it on its tail. I like to get my wing out of the sun as quickly as I can, so I put it in this big stuff sack by Fly Products put it in the back of my truck, get my wing home, bring it into my house, put it in my den, and then force my daughter to help me <laughs> fold it up and get it put away. As she likes to claim it's abuse. Ah, well, there you have it. Another flight in the bag. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please click that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next video.